Um, I believe it's allowed because it's a First Amendment right, but it, it to an extreme, it shouldn't be allowed. All right. But also, in a way, if we censor one group, then that's censoring all groups, and I don't think that is right. But controversial conversation on campus, isn't this the place to do that? This is a place of learning, a place of dialogue. Um, someone else mentioned the First Amendment, so even though I'm a Christian and I get annoyed by the Christians standing here yelling at the top of their lungs, it's still the First Amendment. Um, I think the I think the speaker should be allowed to speak uh, if if there is a if there is a crowd for it and there's uh, if there's an audience for it. I think people should be able to enjoy who they want to hear. If they if, if it's somebody they don't want to hear, they don't have to go and listen. People can't handle the business. Just keep it yourself. Okay. Thank yeah. you so much. Thank right. you so Thank much, Sean. Mm -hmm. Um. I think they should be monitored because there's a lot of hate speech coming from them. I know I've been told very rude things about myself from from them. Like they've told me that I'm a slut or a whore just because of an outfit like this, which I don't think is bad. It's just shorts and a t-shirt. It's hot outside. And so I think it's just very, it's hard to go to class after that. And so it's just very, it's not a positive speech and I think the campus should have more positivity surrounded around it so I just feel everyone has their own opinion mm -hmm. but they shouldn't voice it a lot of times because they don't sound very smart about it. <laughs> I don't think that there's anything necessarily anything we can do about it if our campus is open to people. Um, I think it's like a counter to that. We can maybe get people together to all like sing louder than they're talking so that it kind of counteracts what they're doing because I mean, it doesn't really help to yell at them and say, well, well I think you're wrong, because we're not going to change their mind, I don't think, any less than they're going to change ours, so. Awesome. Think, like, uh, drowning out with positivity. Mm -hmm. um, well, controversial speakers, I think, are essential to, like, a place where we are majority-minority, you know, so I think it's a good thing to be controversial. Um, personally, I think it's annoying, and I don't really like walking through this courtyard, this one especially right here, with people yelling at me about what I need to do and this and that, but um, it's our First Amendment, so I really don't think that, I think they can do that because it's, is this technically public property? Yeah. Yes, it yeah. is. Yeah. So personally, I think that they should be allowed to do that just because it's in the First Amendment. I believe that you can say whatever you want and have controversial speakers, that's what we need. Um, you guys are going to have to edit this because it's off the fly. Um, because if you don't talk about shit, nothing gets across. And we just keep staying in our stagnant ways. Okay. G out. Everybody has the right to say whatever they want in a public forum. This is a publicly funded university. So even if their views are conflicting with yours, um, they're still allowed to be here on campus, even if it upsets you. I feel like on campus, a campus should be a safe space and people shouldn't be allowed to be able to talk bad about how people live their lives. So it should be fair enough and that there shouldn't be a reason for people to feel like they can't be who they are on campus. So I feel like when we have speakers who aren't welcome or aren't welcoming to the types of people we have on campus, there should be something done. They should not be allowed to be on campus for certain things or just being able to stand up and point at people and talk bad about them. I don't think that's good. And okay making people feel bad isn't what it's about. So. I think it's not. I think the real problem is that they're so aggressive to the students about it. Like, it's okay to talk about things that you're passionate about, but they always are so aggressive about it and are, like, screaming at people who disagree with them or, like, may, like, test their arguments, you know? And so I think it's, like, I know we're not in control of how they approach things, but I think that's, like, the biggest problem, for sure, because I think it's cool that people come out and they, like, talk about things they care about, but it's just, like, the way they do it that's really the problem. I think there should be kind of, like, parameters around what they can say and not say, because I understand the free freedom of speech and all that, which is great, but it's also different when somebody's making personal attacks on, on people, like, um, they do get really aggressive and personally defensive towards students, which I think is really inappropriate, um, especially considering the fact that we're on, you know, college campus. We want to be educated and not disrupted by people 
just like saying not nice things because what they say is not kind. Should be allowed, right? Free speech. Um, it's controversial for a reason, and for some people it may hurt their feelings, but for others they may really like resonate with it. And just because you don't like something doesn't mean that you should be able to shut someone else up.